All right, people. Quick update, what's going on? Interior's been pretty much removed on this CRZ I bought from a pro part. The previous owner was obviously a smoker. So the tree, the seats are pretty much trash, they're dirty. And there's a lot of nasty like residue from who knows what. These seats are dirty and stinky. Well, the headliner as well, I'm gonna get that cleaned. But anyways, uh, this is the interior I bought from a 2014. I'll need to clean it as well. Uh, the headliner needs to get clean for sure and I'm gonna reupholster it. And then, but so far this is what I've done. The whole interior is pretty much gutted. Easiest way, remove the weather strip and then just start removing panels from the back and then move forward. That's the easiest way I, I, I think it should be done. And then um, I guess whenever I come to put the stuff back, I'm gonna start from the front back. But the only things to worry about from the side panels are these uh, two little knobs you have to slide off. And then the headliner has two bolts. And then, and there's no more screws on any of the side panels. And then on the front, on the panels as well, you have two of those, uh, I don't know what they are, but they, they kind of, on this one, what I did was pretty much just pulled it from the bottom and then pulled it out. I replaced the curtain, passenger curtain airbag. Got it for like a hundred bucks, 50 bucks. And then to remove the headliner, of course, you have to remove the visors where you move the little knob and then form a triangle and then take it out. And then of course the light, you just remove, remove the lenses and the two screws and that's pretty simple. And then as far as getting the door panels off, that's gonna be just removing the plastics. Uh, there's a little plastic right here you take off. There's two screws back here. There's one screw right there, which this one's missing, it, I guess. What the hell? Anyways, and then uh, you pop this off, and then a screw down there, and I think that's it. And then you just pop these out. Uh, I'm, I am gonna paint the, this part of it black just to match the whole interior. So I'll be masking everything, prepping it, getting a little scotch pad, and roughing it up. But at first, I'm gonna clean it because, yeah, like I said. This was a smoker's car, so it's pretty filthy, pretty dirty. Um, I found roach carcasses and whatnot. It was pretty disgusting. I don't know what the hell some people be doing, but anyway. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I wanted to take it apart and clean it. To get uh, all that nasty, hopefully get all that nasty smell, get it real nice and sanitized and make it almost like new. I'm also put like Dynamap. Sound, sound deadening mats on the floor. I got the pat. I mean, I got the console as well. All black, all black, everything. There is one thing that's concerning to me, and I, maybe y'all can help me out. People that know about CRZs, there's this plug here that I don't know where it goes to. Y'all know, let me know in the comments or something. Little purple plug right here. I don't know, it, was, it wasn't, there's nothing connected there, so. Uh, as far as taking out the seats, of course it has four bolts. And then you just disconnect the bottom plugs. Pretty simple. The, the console, center console has a bolt, two bolts there, I mean bolt there and one on the opposite side. Retainer clips. And then uh, a couple bolts in there. Hey, what are you doing? No girl trying to smack my car. Already has enough damage. Well, keep working on this. If y'all, y'all wanna see how I put the stuff together, probably that'll help y'all to remove it. I'll show you all the little clips and everything I need to put in. Whatever. But yeah, you know.